guys, it's Bree here and I am back again with another video. This is a DMP from Capella's update video. I have now been in the program since February and my last video was three months ago and I feel like now I can really get, give you guys some insight about how the classes are, how the um, DMP project is, and a little bit more of an honest review. So I finished the didactic courses really quickly. The courses remind me so much of the BSN program for the didactic courses. Some of the um, classes kind of gave me a hiccup and I will tell you guys a little bit more about that but basically one thing that I did learn about the DMP style classes the didactic classes the early classes um, but basically the 800 level classes is that you have to go really into detail so if you have to go over the page limit that's okay make sure you're going off of your scoring guide and make sure you're hitting those um, proficient and distinguished level now one thing that Capella does is when you get closer to the project which is basically um, the 900 classes there are these assignments called signature assignments and these assignments kind of made me a little bit upset because professors have six days to grade those assignments so a signature assignment they um two people grade it your professor and then anonymous peer reviewer will look over the assignment and they have six days to grade this assignment so the signature assignment let's say that's assignment two assignment three is that you have to get proficient on all the criteria in the signature assignment to move on so let's say you know if you can get a basic on one of the grade scoring guide as long as your competency is not proficient you can move on however with these signature assignments you have to have a proficient in all your things now when you get the papers back don't be discouraged just see what your professor was saying and just add what they were saying and usually you can get it um, right on the second second time or even the third time when we get into the project for your project charter you will see the project charter early on in the didactic courses and with this if you don't have a preceptor if you have no idea what you want to do that's fine you can just propose like a theory project now if you could go ahead and get your preceptor and you can go ahead and get an idea and uh, set up your project charter in that didactic course when you get into the final course it makes it a lot easier is um, you can just stick with it you can get through the assignments quicker now with the project charter it is a lot um, of kind of like work figuring out how to do a DMP project. And with me, it took me eight tries to finally get my project charter approved. And a lot of times I was discouraged about it. I was kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm so stuck. And when you talk to your preceptor, not your preceptor, when you talk to your um, professors, they're always like, go back to leadership. And I was so stuck. I was like, and what does that mean? I would do a project charter and they would reject it and I would do it again and they would reject it. It took me eight tries. I took the, the, the course twice. And when you take a class twice, you can go ahead and re-upload your previous work and just get back to that project charter. And a lot of times I was feeling discouraged, but I'm going to give you guys the biggest tip to pass your project charter on the first time with no hiccup. What you want to do is talk to your preceptor and figure out what, what is an issue at your clinical side. And for me, my project is going to focus on reducing stage one hypertension and I'm going to implement these um, exercise booklets. So you want to have an intervention that you can see rapid change. You want to make sure that it's something that's already in practice. Like for me, mine was exercise based. That's always that's already in practice. Therefore, it's easier to get approved. Now, let's say if you want to see um, if I put these put patients in a high intensity training for 20 minutes from ages 20 to 40, that's more research and that will not get approved. So you want to take something that's in practice and get it. Approved. So what you can do is you can go look at a lot of different DMP projects to kind of get your wheels turning. One thing that I did notice is a lot of DMP projects just they kind of try to talk over the head so don't get discouraged or intimidated by that just kind of look at that talk to your preceptor say hey what's kind of going on with the clinic what can we do to make the clinic better because the DMP project is a quality improvement project so like I said it took me eight tries and I didn't give up I just kept um, working towards it kept collaborating with my preceptor and I was finally able to come up with a project I'm in the process now of with the IRB which is the institutional review board and basically what that board does is they approve projects to make sure they're ethical and that you're not putting any patients at harm so once I get approved I will let you guys know once I get IRB approval I'll go to the next class which is the implementation phase which takes eight to twelve weeks I chose for my project that I wanted to be the minimum which was eight weeks you can choose between eight to twelve weeks just whatever works for your project and whatever how much change do you want to see so to get a great score to be done with your project charter quickly you want to make sure that it is a quality improvement you can't do education staff education staff patient education retention it has to be a feasible intervention that aligns with guidelines you are going to educate in your dmp program but that cannot be your main intervention i also got some questions that um last couple of weeks 
and I said that I would put them in this video and I do have some questions if you guys want to do a, if you guys want me to do a Q&A on the Bella's DMP program just put some questions below and I will do a uh, Q&A video but I did want to answer these two questions that I got I thought they were really good the first question is, I tried to get info on this program, but the school hasn't really offered concrete responses like the de details. I'm looking for a DMP program to compete within one year. Seems like you found one. When you said DMP projects have to last eight to 10 weeks, is that eight to 10 weeks per DMP project class? I know the program has a DMP project one through four. Are the classes before the DMP classes really just one paper to write and you pass the class? Can an M MD be your preceptor? And those are awesome questions. So one thing that I have noticed the project has to be eight to 10 weeks and that will happen in the DMP project too. So before that you have didactic classes, there are like three to four assignments in each class. When you get to the last 800 class, that is working on your project charter. Once you pass that, then you move into the, um, you move into the implementation phase of IRB approval and things like that. You can get that done as quickly as you want with the didactic classes. You can take up to two classes at a time, but once you get into that DMP project, it has to be one class because they stack on each other. And it's only one class where it has to be eight to 10 weeks and that it will be the implementation phase. So yes, the classes before that are just writing paper and then you move on to your project. Can an EMD be your preceptor? Yes, anybody can be your preceptor that has a master's degree. So it can be a, a nurse practitioner and then anybody at the doctor level, like a medical doctor or a doctor and family nurse practitioner. And it, it just has to be someone with a master's, preferably in the health field. This one is a great question, which was, what steps should someone like me at the beginning do right now that will eliminate any pitfalls when I get to where you are now? And could I provide any examples? Something that you can do to not, um, avoid the pitfalls that like how it took me eight weeks to get my project approved is to really collaborate your, your preceptor and really have a strong project charter in the beginning really start thinking about an intervention in those first classes and don't get discouraged when you get your paper back and if you have to take the class again don't get discouraged because you can re-upload your assignments it's just getting more attempts on to upload your project charter so the biggest thing is go ahead and kind of look for a preceptor go ahead and get a strong project charter and then um, don't be don't get discouraged because you will get your paper back and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm doing everything that I can, but it's okay, stick with it. Like I said, it took me eight tries before my project charter got approved and now I'm at IRB approval. So I hope this video gave you a little bit of insight on the DMP program at Capella University. If you guys want me to do a Q&A, leave some questions below and I would do a Q&A video soon. Like I said, I'm excited. I'm finally, I was kind of like, when you're doing the project, you get to like zoom here for the didactic and then you get to your project charter and you're like, oh, and they kind of kind of push you down. You're like, oh, they push you down a little bit more. Then once you get approved, I feel like it's just going to kind of slide on down. So I will give you guys an update video soon and I hope this video helped. You guys can always follow me on my Instagram and message me there at hey, it's free YT, and I will see you guys in my next video soon.